The enduring images of Abraham Lincoln when John Wilkes Booth crept into the presidential box at Ford's Theater and shot Abraham Lincoln on April 14, 1865. He had no trouble recognizing the man he had come to kill. That was thanks to photography, a technology that was then still in its infancy but would come to dominate the way all politicians have presented themselves ever since. Lincoln was the first president born in the photographic era, says Paul Tetro, director of Ford's Theater in Washington. He was very aware of the importance of photography. But unlike our public figures today who have the $700 haircut and the right suit, I don't think Lincoln cared about that. He was very conscious of his shortcomings in the looks department and he didn't shy away from that. On February 27, 1860, Lincoln addressed a large audience in New York where he was photographed by Matthew Brady, the pioneer of American photography. Brady pulled up Lincoln's collar to improve his appearance and the image was subsequently reproduced and copied by newspapers and magazines. That photograph established Lincoln not as a hayseed or bumpkin but as a sober, respectable, powerful intellectual who could become president, says David Ward, senior historian at the Smithsonian's National Portrait Gallery. Lincoln said that this was the photograph that made him president. Brady and his colleague Alexander Gardner went on to photograph Lincoln many times and their images endure today. But modern perceptions of the 16th president have also been shaped by two eerie life masks. The sculptor Leonard Folk created the first mask in 1860 as a model for a bust of Lincoln. Having just won the election, Lincoln was in good spirits and full of energy. But the second mask, made by another sculptor Clark Mills in February 1865, just two months before Lincoln was assassinated, shows a very different man. The Civil War was coming to an end and the 